Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder from Cars.com. I'm going to give you the rundown on the 2008 Scion XB. Now, the original Scion came out a few years ago and was a surprise hit. It's small and boxy. The new version is larger in almost every way. It's longer, it's wider, it has a longer wheelbase. Um, and they've also rounded it off a bit, as you can see on the hood. There's more rake to the windshield. It doesn't have quite as boxy a look. And the same is true for the roof and the rear. Obviously, the increase in exterior size has meant more space inside. Now, the cargo area is pretty versatile. Um, this is getting to be very common. If you lift the cargo floor, there are some storage compartments here in case you want to put something valuable where it's out of sight. Um, and on either side, also, there are a couple of bins. Folding the seats could hardly be easier. Pretty standard stuff. Scion has very few factory options. The automatic transmission is one of them. Aside from that, just about everything can be bought a la carte. If you want one thing or another thing, you choose it. You don't have to get a package full of things that you might or might not want. As you can see, I have plenty of leg room here. I'm about six feet tall and the seat's pretty much all the way back in front of me. Also, my knees aren't raised too much. Plenty of headroom, several inches. Um, in the previous version of the car, which was so small looking from the outside, it was a big surprise to find a good deal of room inside, uh, which it had too. In this case, it's a little bit less surprising, but it's definitely roomy enough to carry four or five people. No problems in terms of legroom up here in front. Uh, headroom also is good. Fortunately, there's a manual sea height adjustment. Also, the steering wheel tilts. Unfortunately, it doesn't telescope. One of the distinguishing characteristics of the XB is, as before, center-mounted gauges. Now, center-mounted gauges are controversial. Some people really hate them. I don't mind them because I put the steering wheel low and it tends to block gauges when they're in front of the steering wheel. It really depends on the car it's in. In terms of comfort, there is a center armrest for the driver that is uh, ridiculously narrow and small. And uh, a couple of our drivers found it to be too high and not very comfortable. It, in some ways, might as well not be there. In terms of covered storage, it's not great. The center, I'm lucky to get a fist in there. Obviously, you've got your glove compartment. It's a good size, but it does not lock, unfortunately. Scion seems to be better with the open storage, like a bin here, little things here and there. Sunglasses fit in there just fine. Another great standard feature, or features, I should say, uh, is a pair of inputs for MP3 players. Now, you might have seen in the past a regular auxiliary output for an analog cord like this. You can run any player, even a laptop or a generic MP3 player like this that cheapos like me buy. Or if you are the type to use an iPod, there's a separate jack that, with a special plug, allows you not only to play the iPod, but also to control it through the head unit here in the dashboard. As standard stereos go with the inputs for a regular MP3 player and an iPod, it's pretty impressive. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.